Then the additional disputes which occurred in his time was from the movement of Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab. Now Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab was a scholar from Eastern Arabian Peninsula from the uh, vicinity of Najd. He was born in the early 1700s and passed away in the late 1700s. Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab, his father Abdul Wahab, was a Sunni scholar. Also, his brother Suleiman bin Abdul Wahab was a Sunni scholar. Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab studied with Sunni ulama like Muhammad Hayat al Sindhi and many other Sunni ulama. But when he went to Iraq, initially he intended to study in Syria. On his way to Syria, he diverted into Iraq. When he diverted into Iraq, at that time a change came over him. He was influenced by the works of an earlier Damascus theologian, Abu Abbas Ahmad bin Taymiyyah. Reading works of Ahmad bin Taymiyyah like Majmu'at al-Fatawa and other works, he formed his own ideology regarding Tawheed and declaring monotheism and declaring the vast majority of Sunni Muslims in his times as being what? As being pagans and idol worshippers. This is an ideology which arose during British colonialism in Kuwait because the British entered Kuwait and during that time the movement of Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab arose and they waged war against the Ottoman Empire. So the Ottoman Empire which was a Sunni empire, a Sunni uh, rule and Sunni authority, they were governing Makkah al mukarramah and al madinah al Nura at the time, which is Western Arabian Peninsula. <coughs> Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab, making an, an alliance with Al Saud, entered into places like Taif and also into al madinah al Nura until they were repelled by the Ottoman generals who came in from Egypt. This is history which is known, but this was during the 1700s. This weakened the Muslim world internally, eventually leading to the fall of the Ottoman Empire. The collapse of the Ottomans occurred around the time when Al Imam Ahmed al Khan passed away. So all these historical events have a link. You cannot isolate one individual scholar when discussing the biography of one individual scholar and his legacy away from his pa the past of the period in which he was born. 